We're here touring Constables the Cornfield. Uh, we're here in the Isle of Wight in Newport. And the idea behind the Visits Project is to take our pictures from the National Gallery, pictures that belong to absolutely everybody in the UK, take them out of London and take them into places where people aren't having to travel to come and see us. We're taking the pictures to people rather than always asking people to come to us in the museum. And the really exciting thing about Visits as well is that we pop up in unusual and unexpected locations. And our hope is that you know all sorts of people will feel really comfortable to come into these different locations to see these artworks. Some people can feel that there's a bit of a barrier to going into a museum, they might feel like it's not for them. Um, but we, so we hope by um, placing um, these amazing artworks in unusual locations, we can break down a little bit of that barrier and really invite everybody to come and enjoy these amazing artworks with us. So this, this painting was created by John Constable in 1826 and he was making it in advance of the Royal Academy's exhibition that year so he made it at quite a pace between January to March I think of that first year um, and he was producing it from a series of different studies and drawings that he created throughout his life but he was also drawing on his memory because this uh, view is actually of Fen Lane which is a lane that John Constable used to walk along from East Bergholt to Dedham on his way to school as a child so it's also partly wrapped up in his memory of this particular space. I'm the programmes manager for Independent Arts, um, so I design the creative programmes for our workshops um, across the, the charity. Um, and we became involved today, uh, we were invited by the National Gallery to get involved and run some workshops for our community groups. Um, so that's what I've been doing, is putting together workshops and opportunities so that all our participants can get the chance to come along and see the painting. We've been looking particularly at the landscape and at the, um, the plants and the trees um, and the sort of how interested Constable was in nature, so we've been responding to that creatively. The children were really taken with the idea that, that it's so old, that it's nearly 200 years old, and that they could relate to it, that it, it's, it's a lane, um, it's an image of the landscape that, 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 that they understand and that they see here on the island. You, know, you could be wandering along that lane really in, in many different parts of this island. They also related to the idea of, of Constable as a boy remembering this, this lane and this lane and this landscape being important and significant to them. So we talked to them about that, about their journeys to school and their memories um, of particular places, things that stand out to them when they're, when they're going to school. And it was really interesting, you know, that they were, they were talking about little foxes and rabbits that they'd seen on the way to school. And someone was speaking about um, uh, uh, some, some water, you know, a, a pond or a lake, he referred to it as. And all these elements are in the paintings. We are at the Museum of Island History in Guildhall where we've got this um, Rural Lives exhibition which is um, being used to coincide with the National Gallery's um, The Cornfield and John Constable's great work coming to the island. So these are photographs by James Dorr, the Sandown photographer, who was an award-winning photographer in his day, um, come from the late Victorian and Edwardian period, and they're a fantastic chronicle of rural life. It seemed particularly appropriate to have the cornfield by John Constable, and one reason for that is, of course, we used to be an agricultural county before we were a, a tourist um, place, and so that agricultural tradition is so strong on the island. And I think the painting teaches us to look at the environment that we're in, and we are so blessed on the island to be in a environment where nature is so important, is such a key feature. It's one of the reasons we got our UNESCO biosphere status, is simply because of that wealth around us, which we can take for granted, but other people, you know, will come and enjoy. And I think at heart, all of us have got a deep appreciation of this place where we live. Thank you.